the fall of 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. And during October of that year, a refugee Kuwaiti nurse came and testified before the Congress of the United States. Testified about was an incident that had occurred in her hospital. Iraqi troops had come in and as part of the plundering, shipping things back to Iraq, they took more than 300 babies out of incubators and stole the incubators. And we were left with this astonishing notion, these people leave premature infants out to die. They care so little about life that they will let babies die in order to steal incubators. And our collective breaths were taken away, and this was covered in every newspaper. And at the time of the vote authorizing the Gulf War, a vote that passed by five votes, seven of the senators cited this incident in their decision as to how to vote. And it wasn't until a few months later that it became clear that this refugee Kuwaiti nurse was not a refugee Kuwaiti nurse. She was the 15-year-old daughter of the Kuwaiti ambassador to the United States, a publicity PR firm in Washington had been hired with the cooperation of the U.S. government to concoct that story. This child was trained to come before our Congress, lie to us, and we fell for it with a 92% approval rate for that war. And the story saying that this event never occurred were buried in the back pages of every newspaper. And there's no rodent on Earth who would have fallen for that. They would have smelled a rat in a second. And this capacity we have to have our best of emotions and empathies manipulated had a galvanizing effect on our decisions of what counts as moral or immoral behavior.